Are you struggling to maintain healthy relationships? Do you find yourself struggling to communicate effectively with your loved ones? If so, this video is for you. In it, I'm going to teach you seven behaviors that destroy relationships and how to combat them. Relationships are one of the most important things in our lives. We rely on them to provide us with emotional support, practical help, and even just a sense of companionship. But what happens when our relationships start to go wrong? We start to clash, argue, and misunderstand each other. In this video, I'm going to teach you seven destructive behaviors that can ruin any kind of relationship, be it with family, friends, or romantic partners. By the end of it, you'll be able to identify and address these problems before they ruin your life altogether. Hey there, welcome to your mind as your superpower. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel so we can bring you more quality informational videos on more healthy mental habits and other self-improvement topics that'll help you become more successful in your life. Number 1. Being insecure and overly sensitive Let's start by defining what we mean by insecure and overly sensitive. Insecurity is when you don't feel confident in yourself or your relationship, and it can lead to constant questioning, jealousy, and paranoia. Being overly sensitive means that you take things too personally, and small comments or actions can trigger intense emotional reactions. I'll be honest, I've struggled with insecurity and sensitivity in my past relationships. I've been guilty of constantly seeking reassurance from my partner, feeling jealous when they talk to other people, and getting upset over small things. For example, if my partner didn't text me back right away, I'd start to worry that they were losing interest in me. I'd also get hurt easily if they made a joke at my expense, even if it was just harmless teasing. What I didn't realize at the time was that my behavior was actually pushing my partners away. When I would question their feelings or get upset over small things, it made them feel like they couldn't do anything right. They'd feel like they were walking on eggshells around me, and that's not a healthy or sustainable dynamic for a relationship. So how can we work on being less insecure and sensitive in our relationships? It starts with self-reflection and building up our self-esteem. When we feel more confident in ourselves, we're less likely to let our insecurities and sensitivity take over. It's also important to communicate openly with our partners and build a foundation of trust. Number 2. Lying to keep the peace When people are afraid of conflict or confrontation, they may resort to lying to avoid upsetting their partner or starting an argument. While lying may seem like an easy solution at the moment, it can ultimately cause more harm than good. I'll admit that I've been guilty of this behavior in the past. There was a time in my life when I would lie to my partner about small things just to avoid any sort of disagreement. For example, if my partner asked me if I liked a certain movie they wanted to watch, I'd say yes, even if I didn't, just to avoid a potential argument. But what I didn't realize was that these little lies were eroding the trust in our relationship. Lying to keep the peace may seem harmless at first, but it can quickly spiral out of control. The more you lie, the harder it becomes to keep track of all the falsehoods. This can lead to even more lies, which can ultimately destroy the trust in your relationship. It's important to remember that disagreements and conflicts are a natural part of any relationship, and it's okay to have differing opinions. By being honest with your partner and having open communication, you can work through these issues together and come out stronger on the other side. Number 3. Stonewalling Stonewalling is when one partner withdraws from the conversation or stops responding to the other person during an argument or discussion. This behavior can be incredibly frustrating for the other partner and can make them feel as though their opinions and feelings don't matter. One personal example I can share is when I was arguing with my partner about something and became so overwhelmed with emotion that I simply shut down and stopped talking. I could feel myself withdrawing from the conversation but it felt like the only way to protect myself from the intense emotions. It wasn't until later when we both cooled down and talked about it calmly that we were able to resolve the issue. When stonewalling occurs repeatedly in a relationship, it can be a sign of deeper issues that need to be addressed. It can be a symptom of avoidance or a fear of conflict, which can lead to unresolved issues and resentment. It's important to communicate openly and honestly with your partner about how stonewalling affects you and to work together to find a way to overcome it. This may involve setting ground rules for communication during arguments or seeking the help of a therapist to improve communication and conflict resolution skills. Number 4. No longer being affectionate It's easy for couples to fall into the trap of taking each other for granted and neglecting the physical aspect of their relationship. When one or both partners stop showing affection, it can lead to feelings of neglect, loneliness, and a lack of connection. Over time, this can lead to serious issues that may even end the relationship. 
In today's busy world, it's easy to get caught up in work, family, and other responsibilities. This can make it challenging to find time for affection and physical intimacy. However, it's essential to prioritize this aspect of your relationship. Small gestures such as holding hands, hugging, or even a gentle touch on the arm can go a long way in showing your partner that you care. Remember, physical intimacy is not just about sex. It's about feeling connected, loved, and appreciated. Number 5. Nagging Nagging is a common behavior that can quickly destroy a relationship. It's a pattern of persistent and repetitive complaining, criticizing, or fault-finding that can leave the other person feeling belittled and frustrated. For example, imagine your partner forgets to do the dishes despite your request for them to do so. You remind them and they still don't do it. Instead of finding a solution together or expressing how you feel, you may start nagging them. Why can't you just do the dishes? It's not that hard. This behavior can quickly escalate and cause unnecessary tension in the relationship. Your partner may feel like you're constantly criticizing them and can become defensive or resentful. Nagging can also have long-term consequences. It can lead to a breakdown in communication, lack of trust, and a decrease in intimacy. The constant negativity can make the other person feel like they're not good enough, which can damage their self-esteem and confidence. It's important to note that while it's okay to express your needs and desires, nagging is not an effective way to communicate them. Number 6. Expecting too much Expecting too much from your partner is another behavior that can destroy a relationship. When we enter a relationship, we often have certain expectations of our partner. These expectations can include things like always being available, being perfect in every way, or fulfilling all of our emotional needs. However, these unrealistic expectations can lead to disappointment and frustration, which can ultimately harm the relationship. For example, if you expect your partner to always be available and to drop everything to spend time with you, you may become upset or angry when they can't meet that expectation. Or if you expect your partner to be perfect and never make mistakes, you may become critical and judgmental when they inevitably fall short of that expectation. These expectations can put a lot of pressure on your partner and make them feel like they can never live up to your standards. It's good to remember that no one is perfect and that relationships require compromise and understanding. It's okay to have expectations, but they should be realistic and discussed with your partner. You should also be willing to adjust your expectations and work together to find a balance that works for both of you. Number 7. Keeping score When we keep score, we're not able to let go of the past and move forward. Instead, we use the past as a weapon to hurt our partner and win the argument. This behavior can quickly erode trust and create a toxic environment in the relationship. Keeping score can manifest in many ways. It could be bringing up past mistakes or grievances during an argument, keeping track of who did what and when, or using past events to justify current behavior. For example, if your partner forgets your birthday, you may bring it up during future arguments as evidence of their thoughtlessness, even if they've made efforts to make it up to you. Keeping score can feel like a way to protect ourselves and ensure that our partner understands the impact of their actions. However, it often leads to a lack of forgiveness and resentment that builds over time. If we want to build a healthy and strong relationship, we need to learn to let go of past grievances and focus on the present. We hope that by discussing these behaviors, we provided some insight and awareness to help you cultivate healthier and happier relationships. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and comment down below, and make sure to check out the rest of the videos on our channel for more valuable content. Most importantly, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all our latest uploads.